Christopher Limbouropoulos, Sky Germany. Sky Germany. I hope you still speak German. What a... How is your German? There are two players coming home. It's like for Leroy Sané, it's coming home. How do you recognize these players? Is that something special? And uh, how high are the chances that they are playing tomorrow? Well, for Gundogan and Leroy Sané, they have just come back home, Sp especially for Leroy Sané, who played for Schalke. And uh, of course, it's special for them. That's obvious. They're both from Germany, and it's important for them to come back home. But, uh, yeah, it's the po most important for them is to play for their team now. Third season, obviously, uh, in charge of City in the Champions League. You talk about the experience needed in this competition. Do you feel your team is in a better position uh, this year t to challenge maybe a bit better than, than previously? Yeah, but the first season I remember it was a, a big fail, big mis big big fail. If we are not able to win the Champions League, it was always in the first season. So uh, we bring that in our in our position. So yeah, but I believe the team with after three seasons, I think we do better things than the first season. That is normal. It's just for the fact we are all together, a lot of games, a lot of training sessions, a lot of meetings. We know each other much much better. But this competition is. It's special, so uh, it's special. So the teams are s good, and uh, atmosphere in the stadiums. You have to control your emotions. You have to suffer the bad moments. You know, you have to survive the, the, these bad moments, and in your uh, right moments, make the difference. So, but we are confident. We arrive in a in with uh, with many dreams in our heads you know to do a good competition to be good make a good game tomorrow to to bring the the both games in the best position for our stadium Metihad. we are strong we feel a lot of confidence there and of course that pass to you know to make a good game and especially to try to score goals it's important so important a way to to try to score a minimum one goal Um, Ezekiel Daray from Fox Sports. You said this uh, competition is special. Probably your Bayern was playing at the moment the most attractive football in Europe, and now City is also playing the most attractive football in Europe. Why do you think this is sometimes not enough to win Champions League? This is a special competition, but what do you need or what are you missing to make it? Well, I think in Bayern we play quite well the last the last season my third season in the first season we arrived but we, we we were not we won the titles but we were not the way but it's normal you need time it's the same like we say james so in the third season we are better than the first one so when you speak one month ago when we lost in a few weeks ago we lost in newcastle the people didn't say that, that we are the most attractive football so but that's true in 12 last i think last 12 games we won 11 and just for statistics you can lose once so i have the feeling the players are, are quite well and and we'll see it's a challenge for us so what i'm pretty sure you cannot go through in that competitions if you are not yourself if you expect something is coming from above and you don't do your best performance sooner or later, you will be out. Maybe this time, maybe in quarterfinals. If you want to dream a lot, you want to go through in a lot of stages, you have to be yourself, not just every minute, every single second. You have to be incredible focus in that competition, impose your game, and after we will see. I will, I will be go through, I will be out being ourselves. That is what I would like to feel in these competitions, in my in our third season together, we will try it. It's a challenge, like every single game, and delighted to to face it. Hi, Pep. James Robson, Standard. Um, 
Last season, you were such dominant champions in England. It felt almost like when you came up against Liverpool, it was a bit of a shock in the Champions League. I wonder if because they're pushing you so close this season, that might actually help you in the Champions League, the fact that you're having to keep your levels so high on a week-to-week basis. There is no, no sense of a shock, maybe. Yeah, you, you never know. You, you never know. I would like to have 10 points or 12 points in front in the Premier League like uh, Liverpool, honestly. But that is, uh, that is not normal. Uh, really, I don't know. Uh, I think against Liverpool last season, I reviewed the game two or three times after when we prepared the games against with Liverpool. We worked quite well. I don't have many regrets in that competition. But when the people say we'll be shocked because we are City going well and Liverpool is underestimated or go with Liverpool like uh, we are not good enough under Gog, so I don't believe in that. So it's Liverpool, my friends. Liverpool is Liverpool. So when the people say no, it will be an incredible achievement from Liverpool if we win the Premier League. Guys, it's Liverpool. It's not a team for the championship. Huh? Five Champions League, incredible trophies in the back, back room. So, so that's why it's, for us it's nice to, you know, to be there with them every single season and fight and, and compete like we are competing, especially in the last two, two seasons. Tony Lieto from Kika. Uh. Tomorrow, the role is clearly set. If we look at the bets, if you put in one euro and Manchester City wins, you get two cents back. Uh, is there any reason why Manchester City should make it into the quarter fi final with two victories, actually? Well, I don't know. Is there any reason? I think that Schalke can g can win. I have never said that a team for one match cannot think for one match that they can win it, especially at home. Schalke, I mean, look at that team, at the players, and I'm sure that they think that they can show a good performance tomorrow and they play at home in front of their fans, the home crowd, and that they can, that they believe that they can win their match. I'm pretty sure about that. But we have a, a return lag then in Manchester and Schalke players know that w they know that we think that we can win at home in Manchester. It's a completely different competition. It's not the Bundesliga. It's a completely different competition. Everything can change and it can happen within seconds in the Champions League. I played there three or four times with Bayern Munich at Schalke and it was always a complicated encounter. But we are happy to be here and face Schalke. It's the last 16, and they made it into the last 16. So it's good for both teams to be here and confront each other. Hi, Pep. Um, Jack Pitbrook from The Independent. You said how important it is for City to score an away goal in this game. There's been some talk of the away goals rule being changed. What do you think about that? But in that moment, it's not this case, no? In, in, in that moment, a score away is important. Yeah, so... But I don't know, I, I think, I think that, that the way we want to play is that it doesn't matter what we play, try to impose our game and try to score goals. So, and, and, and that's what we're going to try to do. Sometimes it's better to be so defensive at home and be a attractive away, you know? To score goals away is so important. But... Uh, be ourselves. That is always I'm concerned about the game is being ourselves. So not because the competition is completely different. When we were, for example, again Newport, that is what I want to see tomorrow. So we want to go through. You have to be 
huge incredible personality and charisma for ourselves to play in the biggest stages like Champions League, Deutschland, Schalke, to do it. That is what we have to try to do. Hi, Pat. Um, you left Gabriel Jesus and John Stones back in England. Can you tell us what the problem is and how long they may be out for? John yesterday has a growing problem. Uh, and Gabriel finished the game in Newport with a hamstring problem. I think there's not a big, big one, both of them. The doctor told me that, but enough problem to don't be here. So that is the both situations, the both players. That's normal when you play the last Hello, ben. more than three months, every three days a game. So we play 25 games in three months. So sooner or later, we're going to finish the season. We're going to give them three weeks, no more than that, because if not, we're going to destroy the competitions. And, and we're going to come back, we're going to China to play in the big clubs in Europe. And they have to win, because if we don't win, the season will be a mess and push them and push them. And at the end, the likes of the players say, oh, guys, it's enough. Need rest. That's happened. Maybe the FIFA is going to organize a new competition, a UEFA new competition, to these three weeks like we have off. No problem. Hello, Pep. Uh, my name is Omar Katsuba. I'm from Nigeria for omarsports.com. You are extremely popular in Nigeria. Yeah. After your achievement yes. at Barcelona. Oh, and, 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 I was young. Yeah, and you, and you cause massive argument on Nigerian Twitter space. Those who are for Pep believe that Pep is the greatest coach in the world. Those who are against Pep argue that Pep has not been able to win the Champions League since leaving Barcelona. And their argument is because you don't have players like Messi, Javi, Iniesta. I'm that is why <laughs> you've not been able to win the Champions League. What, what do you say to this this school of thought. What's your reaction? I completely agree with them. I completely agree with them. I'm not going to argue one second. Because when I was there, I said many times, I win because these guys are incredible players. But I had in Munich as well, in Manchester as well. But in Barcelona, I was a lucky guy. I'm sorry. I was lucky. I agree with them. Hi, Bab, Sam Lee from Goal. Obviously, Leroy is, is going to be playing against his former club tomorrow. Um, you were, I guess, a big, a big reason why you signed him for City. How, how has he changed as a footballer since he signed for City up until now? I, I think it's a question for him. He knows exactly how he was when he was in Schalke and now he's in Manchester. Always I had the feeling he improved a lot, but always I had the feeling if he was, he won a be an incredible player, like his potential you see here, close to your eyes. Uh, like, just for the fact, the age that he has, he can do it. So, but it depends on him. So, to be the, this consistent, you know, in every game and to be an improve and he, what he can improve, he can be, he is already an incredible player and he will be more incredible. It depends on him, like every player in the other way. The flip side to that, Pep, um, Ravi Matondo obviously moved the other direction to Schalke yeah. in January. Um, their coach was talking at his press conference earlier on about them needing to be patient with him. He made his Bundesliga debut at the weekend. Obviously, you, you allowed him to leave. What was it about him? What wasn't quite the finished article that meant he couldn't challenge for a first-team place and why it was felt that it was best that he was able to leave the club? Well, uh, I said with the cases with Jaden, with uh, Brahim, with uh, Naufil Ford and with Ryan Matondo, is the same case. So, the young players at the end depends of, you know, it, so playing Manchester City, like play, for example, in Barcelona, Madrid, Bayern Munich, or these kind of games, it's not easy. So Ryan Matondo can play, but he competes in his position with Sterling, with Leroy, with Riyad Mahrez, with Bernardo Silva. So that is the truth. You know, uh, it's, it's not easy. The team is trying to build, to fight for the Premier Leagues, to fight in last stages for all competitions. And, and we trust them. But 
the end is I want to stay still. I have patience because the bear or okay, have this opportunity and it's better go. So it's, I'm not going to say it's a bad decision for Ravi. Completely opposite. They went, he went to the big club like uh, like Schalke and, and he's growing because he's going to play more minutes in the high level like Bundesliga. Like maybe in, in, in Premier League still he needs more time. And uh, the future will will tell us, you know, it was a good decision, bad decision. But he decided to do that, and okay, it's, it's well done. So today he missed a debut in Bundesliga in Freiburg. I saw the game, and he played quite well. It's so fast, so quick, and with minutes he's going to do that. I'm pretty sure with Tedesco is going to learn, and we're going to see. We're going to see. So not all the players around the world can play in, in Manchester City. So the space is the space. So this what it is. Buenas noches, Pep. Uh, can we do it in Spanish? No English? Okay, no problem at all. Uh, Pep, uh, you said in the last few weeks more than once that Bernardo Silva was, and it was your words, perfect. Uh, I'm from Portugal, so for the Portuguese fans, I would like to ask you what exactly has Bernardo that makes him be like you said? And if you allow me uh, to make a second question, do you think that he is the next big star in the Portuguese national team? He is the biggest star already. He has absolutely everything. First, he's a lovely person. I love to work with him, especially because he's never make a bad face when don't play. When he plays five, ten minutes, fifty, twenty, like last season, always the biggest smile. I think he's the guy in the locker room that's you know, the most beloved of our team, and he's the skills for himself. So he has absolutely everything. He's one of the most talented players I ever seen in my career, like a manager, a football player. He's a humble guy. He can play in three or four positions. Uh, Always is eight nine nine eight nine. He knows when he doesn't play good in terms of the skills. It doesn't matter what he runs the most. And at the end, that is point. So you cannot play every single game every three days in a top level. But look, you can run every three days doing everything. Is playing run and run and run, and he does. I think maybe this season one of the three or two or three best players in the Premier League because playing all the minutes and the, the amount of the produce in the, in the play, in the with the ball, in assists, in goals, in uh, how he celebrates. You have to take a look how he celebrates the goals when he scored the his teammates. Uh, it's a joy. To, for a manager, I am an incredible lucky guy uh, to have Bernardo in my hands and enjoying every training session and every single game. So Portugal is fortunate to, to have him and uh, I'm pretty sure the manager is going to use him every time more and more because he deserves it. He's, he's a lovely guy, so I love him. Simple like that. Hi Pep, Johannes Wolf from BILD. The league a little bit. Um, what makes them dangerous for your team uh, despite of that? Uh, I've not joined uh, England. Yeah. I think the quality is there. So Tedesco last season, I know Schalke is always fighting, you know, my period here, the expectations in the beginnings always are high and always they could not accomplish and last season they did it. So qualified the Champions League. Today I think Every team in all the competitions, in all the leagues, want to qualify for the Champions League. And when they qualify, it's incredible success for that club in this season. And they did it. And sometimes, you know, uh, sometimes to maintain that level, sometimes, you know, they start in the tough situations. But, uh, but it's one game, it's two games. And the quality is there. And uh, Schalke Stadium is there. And we know that. So uh, we have quite short experience, you know, when the people say, no, no, this team is a favorite, it's going to be well, so, and, and Paris Saint-Germain, a lot of criticized them, Neymar is not there, is not there, and they face an incredible team like United, they make a, the last 11 or 12 games win absolutely everything, is incredible, yes, they show again the quality of United, you know, beating in Chelsea in Stamford Bridge, and no people say, nah, PSG, no Neymar, no Cavani, Nothing. Tuchel do something special. They did it and they won in Old Trafford, 0-2, making a good performance. That is the Champions League, you know. And it's an example, clear example of that. When you compare in the leagues, Manchester City topped in the league. Schalke is there. So 
Manchester City has to win, you know? How many? Four, five? That is not going to happen, my friend. So it's a completely different competition. It's tough, real tough. And we know that the players know it for experience. They are going to to try to do a do you know a good game, a better good result to, to try to finish our job in, in Manchester. Okay. Thank okay, you. thank you.